2x plus 3y equals 6. x minus y equals 8. What is the value of x and y? And we will determine that one by using elimination method. At ito ay random post na hindi natin reveal kung sino at saan na post ito. Now, para maka-eliminate tayo, itong buong equation na ito ay pwede natin yang i-multiply ng 3. Saan ka kumuha ng 3, ma'am? Actually, ikaw lang yung mag-think kung saan dyan ang pwede mong i-eliminate. Now, kung itong x ang eliminate mo, so i-multiply natin yan ng 2. Pero kung i-eliminate natin yung 3, yung 3 lang para mas madali, I mean, kung eliminate natin yung y, yung 3 ang i-multiply natin. So, this is 3x, dito natin lagay, 3x, then ito ang i-multiply natin, this is minus 3y equals 3 times 8 and that is 24. And then, kopyahin lang natin itong equation na ito, 2x plus 3y equals 6. Now, ang gagawin natin ay i-add natin yung buong equation na yan, yung dalawang equation na yan. Pwede tayong mag-add and subtract. Bakit addition ang gagawin natin? Kasi itong negative 3y at positive 3y ay madali na natin yung i-cancel. So, ang natitira na lang natin ay yung 3x plus 2x and that is 5x. And then we have 24 plus 6, and that is 30. Now, para makuha natin yung value ni x, since si 5 ay pang multiply sa x, pang divide na siya sa 30. In other words, nag-divide tayo ng 5 to both sides para makancel yan siya. x na lang ang natira. Now, x equals 30 divided by 5, and that is 6. Now, meron tayong value ni x. Now, since si x ay equal sa 6, so minus y equals 8. Keep natin si minus y. Since si 6 ay positive number, kapag matransfer, pang minus na siya sa 8. So, 8 minus 6 and that is 2. Therefore, negative y yan siya. So, therefore, kung y lang, this is equal to negative 2. Now, let's double check kasi meron na tayong value ni y which is equal to negative 2 at si x ay 6. Gamitin natin yung isang equation na 2x plus 3y equals 6. Ang value nitong si x ay 6. So, i-multiply natin sa 2. Ang value nitong si y ay negative 2. So, i-multiply natin sa 3. Next. 2 times 6, and that is 12. 3 times negative 2, and this is negative 6. 12 minus 6, and that is exactly equal to 6. Therefore, ang sagot na y equals negative 2 at yung x ay equal sa 6 ay tama. Isa pang double checking. Gamitin natin itong equation na to, x minus y equals 8. Again, yung value ni x dito ay 6. At yung value ni y naman dito ay negative 2. So, i-minus na natin yan siya. Itong dalawang negative na to, this will give us positive. So, we have 6 plus 2 and this is equal to 8. So, therefore, y equals negative 2 and x equals 6. By the way, laging tandaan when it comes to mathematics, never memorize the answers because that will never help. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.